Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper here with Plugin Boutique, and today we're checking out Wiggle. This is a synth by Second Sense Audio, and it is absolutely incredible if you're a person into modulation. There are so many different ways to modulate the sound inside of this thing, it's gonna blow your mind. And it's not that expensive either. There's a link to it in the description of this video, so if you're interested after this video, go ahead and check it out. But what I'm gonna do is show you all of the different ways you can modulate inside of this thing. So I've just got this patch running. And you'll see that it's pretty dynamic over that range of time. And that's because I'm using the synth and the step sequencer. So I'm just gonna briefly go through the step sequencer so we can jump into the other modulation systems. It's very, very straightforward. I really dig it. We have up to eight different sequencer modules down here. And each one of those has length, velocity, octave, semitone, nudge, stretch, slice, and custom capabilities assigned to them. So you can see for this particular patch that I'm working on, there's a couple of pauses in the, the length of the sequence. If we wanted to extend it, we could do that here just by right clicking. Uh, we could also change the velocity right here. You can see here it starts higher up and then dips down. We can change the octave if we wanted to. Semitones, this is where you're gonna start getting your melodic content where it's giving up those steps. And we also got some nudge functions, stretch and slice, and then a custom knob. I'm not gonna talk too much about this. I'm gonna jump into the synth because this is where things get really, really creative. So we've got four different sound generators over here and you'll see that these are moving around and that's super cool. And that's kind of the big feature of Wiggle. You can see wiggling the sound generator. And to do that, if I come over here to this sound generator over here in the top right, uh, first of all, we can solo them and each one of these has a volume control. So if I turn this up for a second, that's just this sound off operator right here. And we can actually mix uh, between frequency modulation between this oscillator and this oscillator or this oscillator and this oscillator or this oscillator and this oscillator by using the mix controls and they're all very neatly color coded. So what I wanna do is show you that wiggle feature and that is turn on move and then we can wiggle any one of these points. So we have up to four different points in here. And if I click on this one, you'll see that it's chosen two. We can cycle through this way as well. But if I take two for a second, I can wiggle it left and right using the speed and range here or up and down using the speed and range here. So if I just go ahead and crank this up, look at that, it's wiggling up and down. And if I wanna wiggle it left and right, look at that. I also have tune controls, phase distortion right here. An amplifier with your ADSR, ADHSR, excuse me. And we can also randomize the phase right here as well to get some very interesting sounds. So you can see that just in each one of these operators, we have more than enough flexibility in terms of modulation. It doesn't stop there though. Maybe I wanna modulate the panning over the course of any one of these modulators down here. So I've got eight different modulation uh, envelopes down here and let's just take this one. All I have to do is click, drag, drag it up and boom. This is now gonna modulate the panning of this operator over time using this envelope. And I can take it and go all the way left and right. Obviously left is down, right is all the way up with the center being in the center line here. And another thing is helpful is if you double click here, you see how that turned from M2, mod two to a uh, circle. Now, if I adjust this, I can actually adjust, you know, how far this envelope actually means for this parameter. And then just double click to go back and then I can move that. And obviously you can modulate anything, any of these knobs essentially can be modulated by any of these modulation envelopes down here. We also have some macro controls, lots of effects built right in. We've got uh, filters, which you can send any one of these to by just 
turning it off or setting it to filter two or filter one by using these knobs. And it's just incredible. But the thing I really want to concentrate on is this morph pad right here. So we can save up to four different snapshots of this synth in four different uh, corners here. So if I just go to uh, one for a second, let's just save this snapshot as it is. So that's cool. Now let's make some changes. So I'm going to change this, double it down. And this is a little bit higher. So let's come into the wave, maybe change this, the shape here. Something like that. Maybe send this to the second one. And any of these changes are gonna be saved in the second snapshot. So I'm gonna come over here and make some of the mixing changes here. So let's come over here to two now and click two. So now what I can do is actually turn on motion, all right, and then just choose a path for it by clicking like this. And now it will follow this path. And we can actually choose, you know, some cool, we got ease in, ease out. We can go forward, backward, palindrome. And obviously we have the time options here where we can make it slower or faster. But we can also, I mean, we can keep adding points here, you know what I mean? And we can add other snapshots. So let's say I want to turn this up. Let's do some stuff here. Let's just make some crazy changes. Um, let's turn this on. Let's add some movement here too. Why not, right? And boom, 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 boom. Oh, turn that on. So this is really cool, and I don't even believe there's a set, there's probably some sort of set range, but as you can see here, I'm getting quite <laughs> crazy with how many points we can put inside of this. So we can just continually, if you're looking for like atmospheres or you know soundscapes, this morph pad is gonna do it for you. So that's pretty much what I wanted to show you is all the possibilities inside of Wiggle for actually sound wiggling or wiggling your sound. But before we jump out of here, let's check out some of these presets because there is some really great stuff in here. I'm gonna go ahead and check out this bass. And you'll see right here for tags, each one of the updates, even these small updates are getting a bunch of new presets too. These sequences got some really great stuff in here. This is what I was talking about with that morph pad. You know, it's just so much possibility when you can morph literally everything inside of a synth. So cool.
So yeah, that's just a quick look at Wiggle and some of the presets and how much morphing you can do inside of it. It's super inexpensive in compared to what it can produce and how flexible it is for so many different types of sounds. Anyway, that was a quick look at Wiggle and how it can morph sounds out of this world. I'm Joshua Casper for Plugin Boutique. I hope you learned something. We'll see you next time. <laughs>